Inferencing allows you to reference the axis or other geometry while you're drawing in SketchUp. Basically, this makes drawing accurately very fast and easy. Start by drawing a line and notice how it snaps in the red, green, and blue axis. These are basic inference directions, but they become more powerful when combined with other geometry. For example, drawing this edge in the red direction is simple enough, but we can line this edge up with other edges in the scene with inferencing. SketchUp will automatically align to the most recent geometry you've drawn, but you can always ask SketchUp to reference any existing geometry. Simply hover over the point you're interested in for a few moments, then move back to drawing your line and it infers to that point. This is a key feature of SketchUp, so let's practice it a few times. As you look at these examples, consider this important tip. When combining multiple inferences, such as axis direction and reference to other geometry, you need to be careful to use both inferences. If you're new to inferring, take your time and make sure that you see both inference lines when starting or finishing an edge. In addition to inference directions, there are inference points as well. Every edge has two green endpoints, a cyan midpoint, and everywhere else on the edge is shown with a red on-edge point. When working in SketchUp, you can infer to all of these points. In addition to the axis directions, you can also infer to any edge direction. You can see by hovering over this edge for a few moments, it's possible to draw an edge that is parallel to the original edge, and you can use this direction in combination with other inferences as well. One last tip for drawing and inferring in non-axis directions is to create construction lines with the Tape Measure tool. This lets you easily draw along that edge and infer while you do. Beyond drawing edges, remember that you can use inferences while moving objects. While using Push-Pull or the Offset tool, and actually with most SketchUp tools. After learning about basic inferences, be sure to watch the video on inference locking, which makes the process of drawing with inferences even faster.